I'm Keith Johnson, and I'm a bubble artist. We're going to be talking about bubbles today. I'm a bubble artist, and when I tell people that, they have no idea what I do, really. And so I have to explain to them that I spend a lot of time exploring how soap bubbles work and what new things I can do with them. And then it's my job to share what I've discovered with other people. Um, I work on TV commercials, in music videos. Uh, I was bitten by the bubble bug. Are you an engineer? I use the skills of an engineer. They're really valuable. Um, knowing how to recognize what is a problem and the path that I could take to work myself through a problem is really important. But equally, I, I consider myself an artist because uh, the produce, the, what it is I, I generate from this work as an engineer is, uh, is creative in a way that I feel is art. What sizes and shapes of bubbles have you blown? The bubbles that I make are soap bubbles. And if they're floating through the air, they're going to be spherical, which is uh, round like a ball. Bubbles could be squished into shapes that are not spherical. So it's a cube, but it wants to be spherical, so I call it a cubicle. Bubbles could be many different sizes, from a large bug to a small car. What materials do you use? I've discovered that in working with bubbles that your choice of materials, the, uh, the stuff that you use to make the bubbles, can have a big difference on your success. Um, a simple plastic wand, when you can get it at the store, they're fine, but uh, that's not going to help you put a, put a small bubble on here. If you want a small bubble on there, a straw would be best. And although a straw is nice, a slightly larger straw is better. So, experimenting with new materials might make something else happen. Why do bubbles float? So why do bubbles float is an excellent question, I think, because a bubble is really only contains as much liquid as perhaps a raindrop. And raindrops will sink right away. They don't float. A bubble will float because it's packed with gas. It has more surface area, it's, it, it's resistant to falling, and the breezes will carry it along. It's kind of frustrating that air is invisible sometimes. Air makes a lot of things happen. Do all bubbles pop? All soap bubbles will pop because they're just made out of a liquid after all. But you can get them to live longer there's a guy, Eiffel Plaster, it was around about 50 years ago, and he blew a bubble that lived for 340 days. It was almost a year. I discovered what he did was he kept his bubbles in jars. Um, he protects it from fingers that will poke it, um, from air that will dry it out. So he figured out how to make a bubble live longer, um, again, by using engineering, solving the problem from a different way. How can I become a bubble expert? Don't wait around for an adult to give you ideas or to tell you what to do. Uh, if you're experimenting on your own, there's nothing that's going to stop you from becoming an expert because you'll teach yourself what you need to know. <laughs>